No help here. Princess Beatrice brushes off meeting with Prince Harry in New York. In the whirlwind of royal engagements, celebrity sightings, and the vibrant pulse of New York City, one headline recently captured the attention of fans and tabloids alike. Princess Beatrice brushes off meeting with Prince Harry in New York. The story unfolds like a modern-day fairy tale with a twist, leaving us to ponder the intricate web of royal relationships, celebrity culture, and the unexpected turns of modern life. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Imagine this, the majestic skyline of New York City, with the sun setting over the Hudson River, casting a golden glow on the bustling streets below. It's a city that never sleeps, a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and of course, celebrities. Amidst this urban tapestry, two members of the British royal family found themselves in the same city, but on very different paths. Princess Beatrice and Prince Harry. Princess Beatrice, the eldest daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, has always been a figure of grace and style. With her penchant for philanthropy and a growing role in royal duties, she represents a new generation of royals who are slowly redefining their family legacy. On the other hand, Prince Harry, the rebellious younger son of King Charles III, has been making headlines for his candid interviews, mental health advocacy, and a life that has taken him far from the traditional confines of royal duty. As fate would have it, both royals were in New York for separate events. Beatrice was attending a charity gala aimed at supporting mental health initiatives, while Harry was in town for a high-profile engagement related to his own philanthropic endeavors. As the evening approached, whispers in the air hinted at a possible rendezvous. After all, family ties run deep, even across the pond. But in a surprising turn of events, Beatrice decided to brush off any notion of a casual meetup with her cousin. Eyewitnesses reported that as she entered the gala, she was approached by several guests who expressed curiosity about a potential reunion with Harry. With a polite smile, she waved off the suggestion, saying, No help here. The phrase, delivered with a hint of cheekiness, quickly became the talk of the evening. To understand this intriguing dismissal, one must delve into the complex dynamics of the royal family. Over the past few years, the British monarchy has faced its fair share of trials and tribulations. From Prince Harry's departure from royal duties to his explosive revelations in interviews and memoirs, the family has been navigating uncharted waters. Beatrice, who has remained largely in the background compared to her more outspoken cousin, seems to be positioning herself as a stabilizing figure in the royal narrative. By choosing not to engage in the drama that has surrounded Harry, she reinforces her commitment to her royal duties and the values the monarchy represents. New York City is a hub for celebrity culture, where every corner seems to boast a famous face. It's a place where the lines blur between royalty and Hollywood, making it easy for the two to mingle. However, the weight of royal expectations can make such encounters tricky. Princess Beatrice's decision to avoid a meeting could be seen as an assertion of her individuality in a world where she could easily be overshadowed by her cousin's fame. Moreover, the media frenzy surrounding Harry has not gone unnoticed. Every move he makes is scrutinized, and every word he utters can spark a worldwide conversation. By distancing herself from a potential meeting, Beatrice seems to be carving her own path, one that emphasizes her dedication to her causes rather than the whirlwind of celebrity gossip. In a world that often conflates celebrity with value, Beatrice's actions serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of independence. By prioritizing her commitments over familial obligations, she showcases a refreshing take on what it means to be a modern royal. It's a stance that resonates with many who value authenticity over the superficiality often associated with fame. This independence is further illustrated in her philanthropic efforts. Beatrice has been actively involved in various charitable initiatives, focusing on mental health and education. By staying true to her passions and responsibilities, she demonstrates that royals can be impactful without needing to bask in the limelight of their more famous relatives. Hashtag, hashtag the aftermath, media reactions. As news of Beatrice's playful dismissal spread, it was met with a mix of amusement and curiosity. Social media exploded with reactions, memes, and lighthearted commentary. 
Many fans applauded her for maintaining a sense of humor amid the chaos of royal life. Others speculated about the implications of her refusal to meet with Harry, debating whether it was a sign of deeper rifts within the family. Tabloids had a field day, crafting narratives around the encounter that ranged from lighthearted to sensational. Some suggested that Beatrice's actions signaled a shift in royal dynamics while others posited that it was merely a case of two busy cousins caught up in their own worlds. While the incident may seem trivial on the surface, it shines a light on broader themes within the royal family and society at large. The royal family's evolution is a reflection of changing attitudes towards tradition, duty, and personal freedom. In an age where many people feel empowered to define their own paths, Beatrice's choice to prioritize her commitments over a familial reunion resonates with a generation seeking authenticity. Moreover, it prompts us to consider the nature of family relationships. Just because we share blood ties doesn't mean we share the same values or priorities. Beatrice's decision to brush off the meeting could symbolize a healthy boundary, emphasizing that it's okay to create space, even within family dynamics. As we look ahead, the future of royal engagements seems poised for transformation. The younger generation of royals, including Beatrice, represents a shift toward a more relatable and accessible monarchy. Their willingness to engage with contemporary issues and their ability to navigate the complexities of modern life could pave the way for a royal family that resonates with the public on a deeper level. In the case of Beatrice, her playful dismissal of the meeting with Prince Harry may well be a defining moment. It highlights her commitment to her duties and her determination to forge her own path. As the world watches with bated breath, we can only wonder what the next chapter holds for this dynamic royal.